This is an instructional video on our new BenchPro Valve Spring Tester software version 1. At this time, the software is in its beginning stages and is pretty basic, but we will be adding new features with future updates. Version 1 has three different test modes like the firmware on the display. Target installed height, target seat load, and target bind clearance. The big advantage of using this software over the standalone tester is now that you can save spring set test and have the ability to go back and change parameters later and recalculate the results without having to retest the springs. You will now also have the ability to print professional looking reports for your customers. With this version, the maximum capability is a 16 valve 8 cylinder engine. We will be expanding this in future updates, so let's get started. Once the program is installed, plug in your BenchPro tester with the supplied USB to serial cable. Then find the program icon in the start menu and open it. You can verify your tester is connected down in the lower right corner of the screen. If it says BenchPro tester not found, you may need to install an additional USB driver that can be found on our website. After you are up and running and the connection is verified, the first thing you want to do is go to the program settings and enter your company data. The sole purpose for this is to show your company info in the printed test reports. There is also a field for bind height alarm. It will turn the bind clearance field red if it dips below the alarm clearance. After entering this data, press the OK button to return to the main screen. The next thing you will want to do is calibrate your height measurement. The height calibration between your tester in normal mode versus PC mode are totally independent of each other, so they will need to be set separately. You can use a micrometer standard or any object of a known height. Place the standard in the tester and bring the handle down. Then open the calibrate height window and enter the standard height. Then press the set button. Your tester height is now calibrated. Now we are ready to begin a new session. Click the new session button and the session setup dialog will appear. Here, you enter the customer name, the spring part number, a short engine description, and the number of cylinders. Next, you will enter the intake and exhaust valve lifts and the intake and exhaust valve lash, which is used when calculating open load and bind numbers. Next is the retainer thickness. This is the only test parameter that cannot be changed later without retesting the springs, so it is very important to enter this now. Retainer thickness applies when you are testing dual or triple wound springs. It is advised to always use the retainer when testing these springs due to the fact that it steps down the inner spring. Installed height measurement always refers to the height of the outer spring. When measuring the retainer, you want to measure the outermost step as shown in this illustration and enter it in the retainer thickness field. This seems to be confusing to some, but the retainer thickness is just subtracted from the standard height that you just used to calibrate the height. It just saves you from always needing to recalibrate your height when changing retainer thicknesses. A good example would be if you were using different thickness retainers on the intake and exhaust. It will automatically compensate this on the fly. Now when you look at the height numbers on the main screen, the larger number is the compensated height. It shows the retainer thickness, and under that it shows the uncompensated height, which is the height without subtracting the retainer thickness. You can see now when I scroll through the set that the height numbers change from intake to exhaust due to the fact that I entered different retainer thickness for each. Now I'll click the session setup button to get back to the session setup dialog. Next is the intake and exhaust deflection percentage. This is to compensate for valve train deflection from the open seat load. This is the difference from theoretical valve lift to actual measured valve lift. To utilize this, you must acquire data from earlier engine mock-up or from previous experience with the exact same engine and valve train. This feature is very useful in pinpointing exact open load and bind numbers. If you have this information, press the calculation button. You can see it has already calculated the theoretical lift based from your entered lift and lash numbers. Now all you need to do is enter the actual measured lift at the valve and press the OK button. 
it will do the calculations and enter them for you. If you wish not to use this feature, just leave the fields at zero and they will not affect any calculations. The final data field in the session setup is session notes. Here you can enter notes and any other information you would like to save and show on the printed report. Now it would be a good idea to go ahead and save your data. Press the Save Session button and the Save File dialog will appear. Enter a name and location and press the Save button. Now you are ready to test the springs. Go ahead and set all of your springs on the bench in order from number one intake, number one exhaust, all the way down the line. Place number one intake in the tester with the retainer. Now press the record mode button. The button should turn red and will show ready to record in the middle of the screen. Pull the handle in one steady slow motion until the spring is stacked solid and then slowly release. You can see this meter here is a timing device to indicate the number of data points that have been collected. To get a good test, you must have at least 100 data points. Anything less, no data will be recorded and a message will appear informing you to slow down. A good number to shoot for is 150 to 250 data points. As you can see after a successful test, it will automatically advance to the next spring as indicated in the bottom center of the screen. At any time while testing a set of springs, if there is a situation that you were not satisfied, say for instance you got out of order, you can manually click back to the previous spring and test again. The previous result will be overwritten. You can use the right and left arrow keys on the keyboard to do this. Now just continue down the line until all springs are tested. When you are finished, a message will pop up telling you all tests are complete. Now that all springs have been tested, it would be a good idea to go ahead and save your data. So go ahead and press the Save Session button again. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the different test modes. Click the Target Installed Height button. Here you enter the target installed height for your spring set. After doing this, you can scroll through the set with the right and left arrow keys on the keyboard to see the results. You can go back at any time and change the desired installed height and it will recalculate the results. You can see here on the intake springs where that bind clearance alarm we set at 80 thousandths earlier in the program settings is being triggered. If I go now and change this to 50 thousandths, you can see it is no longer triggered. Now you can print the target installed height report. Click the Print Report button and make sure Target Installed Height is checked and hit OK. Next, the Print dialog box should appear. Choose your printer and press the Print button. Make sure to save your data again before exiting. Here you can see the printed report we just done. Now let's look at Target Seat Load. In this mode, you tell the computer your desired seat load and it will give you the proper installed height for each spring. Click on the target seat load button and enter the desired data. Just as before you can scroll through the set to see the results. When you are finished you can print the report and pass it to the person assembling the cylinder heads. Lastly let's look at target bind clearance. In this mode, you enter the desired bind clearance. It will factor in the valve lift, the valve lash, and the valve train deflection and give you the installed height for each spring. As before, when you are finished, you can print the report. Here's the report that we just printed for target bind clearance. 
This concludes this video. We hope it has given you some clear insight on how to use this software and how it can be beneficial to you and your company. For more information on this or any of our other products, contact us at Buxton Engineering.